الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings Alishan Mahi Why do you want to spend time to research and look around for vlogging cameras? Why do you want to spend money and buy that vlogging camera that people have been talking big about? Well, you can turn your smartphone with an HD camera into a professional and stabilized handheld vlogging camera with Dubot Rigid 3-axis smart and advanced handheld stabilized gimbal. Previously, I have posted a review of a 3-axis stabilized handheld gimbal for your smartphone, which was lacking a couple of key features. Now, here in this video, we have a Dobot a Rigid 3-axis smart handheld stabilizer for your smartphone with all those key features that you have always wanted into your smartphone handheld stabilizer. So this is the Dobot Rigid standing right next to me with my big phone installed in it and it has been an amazing nice handheld stabilizer for the smartphone. I have been using it for a while and the more I use this gimbal for my smartphone the more I'm falling in love with this gimbal and its features. This is a brushless 3-axis handheld stabilized gimbal with some advanced algorithms for tracking features that are provided in the supplied app that you will use to operate this gimbal with your smart device. So using that you can now actually track your face, track an object and the gimbal will make sure to keep the object or the person in the view perfectly. The company claims that this gimbal offers a 0.01 degree of precision. Well, it has been really, really very, very precise. And all the features that the company has advertised for this gimbal simply work perfect, like a charm. So the more I'm using this gimbal, the more I want to keep it with me. And for that purpose, that you can keep the gimbal all the time with you, no matter at home, no matter outdoor vlogging, or enjoying your time with family or friends, or no matter you're traveling, they have provided you a very nice carrying case for this gimbal that stores the gimbal and all the accessories easily inside this and you can carry this gimbal anywhere everywhere with you and turn it into a professional vlogging camera anytime you want by simply installing your smart device in it the gimbal supports android and ios devices and they have supplied usb cables for four different smart devices accordingly So this is the Dobot Rigid 3-axis uh, stabilized gimbal for smartphone. This gimbal has auto track function, live stream mode, slow motion, time lapse, panorama modes. You can share your stuff online easily with your phone. It has filters, seamless position switch. It's very easy to use with one button control. It has two-way charging. It also supports GoPro camera, so you can put GoPro on board it. And of course, it also has a tripod mount. So let's take it outside the box and see how it's packed inside first. And I will charge the battery and go for a demo right away. All right. Now, I haven't seen this. Ooh, check this out. Wow, it's like if I didn't know it was a stabilized gimbal, I would think it's a small violin. It's it's really I like a premium product feeling right here anyway so we have the USB cable I believe yes this is the USB cable all right and then we have a strap neck strap for you to carry this carrying case that has a gimbal inside and check it out a very very detailed thick user manual that is in English and it describes everything okay after that here in this little place I have a couple of USB connecting cables for various phones okay so I'll use one of these uh, nothing else there well looking at this carbon fiber type pattern on this carrying case this gives really uh, like a premium product feeling here anyway we will unzip it okay and uh, right, right here is our gimbal check it out all right so this is the gimbal in my hands i'm going to zoom into different parts of this gimbal first off there is a nice 
uh, anti-slip grip right here okay and very easy to use controls from your thumb right here so we have on off switch and record start stop switch and you will use the same one to take photos if it is in photo mode then you have a little joystick which is also clickable for moving the gimbal around moving the pitch around and of course using it for various other features And here you have this little button for changing the gimbal modes instantly. So at the moment it is on yaw follow mode, fixed mode in the center. This means yaw and pitch is always fixed. Okay. And yaw and pitch followed. So you can look up and down and move the camera around very easily. If you want to lock the pitch only, you will put this thing back down to Y and you will have yaw follow, but pitch will stay stationary. At the back side here, you have a tripod screw bound here, so you can actually put it on tripod. And down here, you have a USB port for charging the gimbal. All right, that's it right here on the stick. Now, when it comes to the part where you will put the phone, this is where I really, really like it because first off here, you don't have any spring loaded thing that is always gets loose over time. This is not a spring loaded anymore. So looking at it from this angle, you can see that this is the slider that will actually widen or shorten this uh, mount for your phone. So according to the, you know, width of your phone, you can actually move it all the way up and down and then easily lock your phone. My phone is very big. Uh, it's a Sony Xperia C5 Ultra. So it locks actually somewhere here but anyway as I mentioned this is really really very easy to adjust and lock your phone into this cradle having to have this kind of system where both things move up and down where both of these cradle sides move up and down it will perfectly balance your phone when it comes to the width of the phone because you have to balance the phone you have to make sure the phone is balanced on this gimbal and only then it will work properly otherwise not so basically phone uh, width wise you can easily balance the gimbal using the slider okay now it comes to balance the roll because you have to balance the roll otherwise your gimbal will hang at one side it is very very crucial uh, it is really important that you balance your phone really nicely on these kind of gimbals so basically they also have given you a scale here for uh, different phones now in order to balance the phone uh, for the roll you can see there is a screw right here so you have to loosen it okay and now you can actually move this whole part left and right okay and easily balance your gimbal once your gimbal is balanced only then you will turn it on and it will work properly so I have described it just now let me just give you a quick demo of how to install a big phone in this gimbal and how to balance it because it's really really very important to balance the phone before you turn the gimbal on all right now let me show you how to install your phone and how to balance it before you turn the gimbal on and then we will have a quick demo of how gimbal is stabilizing in various modes right away all right it's time to fit your phone i have a sony xperia c5 ultra which is a big phone right here okay so first off i will have to keep this arrow up that says up all right so make sure this arrow is pointing up and then you will start moving the slider on the back of this cradle to make to open this cradle to according to your phone okay now my phone camera is here so I will have to make sure to keep the camera uh, you know pointing backward like from away from me all right I have a button right here on my phone which is a shutter button and if press it down all the way or all the time it will activate the camera all the time uh, and I'm wondering and worried actually that if I tighten this it will actually uh, you know press this button however however let's just give it a try first all right so I will slide my phone precisely in one of the cradles down here and I will start locking it okay I will try to lock it as much as I can and until now I don't see my phone turning on this means the button is not being pressed which is a very very good news for me all right now the phone is installed but when I leave it it just falls your job at this point is to make sure without turning the gimbal on your phone is balanced okay so we have put it very nicely according to its pitch wise it's balanced 
Now we have to balance the roll. And for that, as I mentioned, you have a screw here. So you will open it up, okay, loosen it, and move your cradle left and right. And at every step, check it by leaving it and see if your phone balances. Now it's going left a little bit, okay? So I will push it down inside a tiny bit, going right a little bit. You have to play with these settings a bit until you get a perfectly balanced phone. So, right here, I believe I have a perfectly balanced phone on this gimbal without turning it on, all right? You can see my roll and pitch are balanced, all right? Now, I can tighten this screw, which is right here for the roll, all right? And basically, there is a scale right here which shows four inch, which shows four, eight, and twelve. I believe this is four, eight, eight, and twelve inches phone. My phone is a really big one. Okay. Anyway, so now it's perfectly balanced. Now it's time to turn the gimbal on. So first thing you need to do is open the battery compartment, and there's a plastic piece down there which prevents the electrodes from touching and uh, you know preventing the battery from getting used all the time so battery is 3.36 volt 3350 mh 12.2 wh okay there was this little piece of plastic as you can see in my hands which will prevent electrodes from touching and you know prevent the battery from being used so you have to remove it otherwise you will be wondering why the gimbal is not turning on and if you got the faulty gimbal no <laughs> it's not a faulty gimbal remove that and i believe battery should have enough charge so just add that back and make sure your phone is balanced, which we have done just now. Press and hold the on off button or the record button for three seconds. There you go. Your gimbal has just turned on. And now this is a chicken head. <laughs> Check it out. All right. Basically at the moment it's in heading lock mode. So everything is locked, pitched and pitch and yaw is locked at the moment so i will change it to so i will change it to yaw mode that means if i move my gimbal will move according to my hand movement so it's following the yaw and you can see it's a still very very stable but the pitch is locked now if you want the pitch to be followed along with the yaw you will put the slider all the way up okay now you can follow the yaw Okay, and you can also follow the pitch. You can see the phone, it's following the pitch. So you can shoot up, so you can shoot up, shoot down as you like, and also it is following the yaw. And once again, it is very, very easy to lock everything according to your desired mode. Now pitch locked, but yaw follow. And now I will put it in the center, everything is locked. So I can move around and my phone actually stays in the same direction. Also, you can use this joystick to move your gimbal around. It's not a 360 degree move, at one place it locks actually. Uh, I had a, another gimbal that has a constant 360 degree move, but this is also a very, very good angle. Okay, and you can move the pitch up and down as well. So basically controls are very, very easy to use, very easy to understand and basically very, very easy to get used to. And when you want to start stop recording, you can press this button, but you will have to connect your phone using the USB cable to the gimbal and download an app and only then you will be able to track, use the track features and all the other features offer in the app. Yes, the track feature is the best feature right here that I actually got the gimbal for because you can uh, draw a square around one person or yourself and it will keep tracking your face or your body or that person and always move the gimbal keeping the person in the view which is a very very nice feature and I simply love it. All right, so this is it for the initial demo of this gimbal. Now let me install the app, let me charge the gimbal and we will go ahead and shoot some videos right away. So far, so far, it does look a really, really nice and neat gimbal. Very, very stable, ultimate stable, very, very steady. The other gimbal that I reviewed quite a while ago had tendencies to sometimes lose balance and fall. 
uh, sideways or front and back and the balancing the phone was a real headache on that gimbal but this one is simply amazing everything is super easy to balance every kind of phone whatever size you have you can easily balance and you can use the gimbal very very easily one more thing I want to show is if you want to go into portrait mode all you need to do is just move the gimbal this way and now you are in portrait mode so you can go around and it is still balanced you can see it's following the yaw and it is in portrait mode now check this out all right okay and if you put the gimbal upside down it will immediately change to upside down mode so changing the modes on this gimbal is just piece of cake you can always change the modes on the fly very very easily and keep shooting in your desired mode and if you have somehow messed up your position you don't know which position you are in for example now my phone is pointing completely in the wrong way all you need to do is double click this joystick and it will come back to its default position pressing and holding the joystick simply locks all the axis on this gimbal and you can do it on the fly so for instance if you are in a yaw following mode or you are in a pitch and yaw following mode and you want to instantly lock all the axis all you need to do is press and hold this joystick and instantly lock all the axis right there see now it's not moving any axis leave the stick double click and it get back to default position so this is it for the initial demo go ahead and run the rigid app and make sure that your phone is connected with the proper cable the usb cable after that click this connect button and you will see a device here which is reach it and that's it it is connected now your gimbal is connected and your app should have all its features working properly now at the left side here you have the album icon so you can see your album the videos and pictures you shot then you have a shutter button and then you have a camera selector that means forward or the rear camera you can also select the forward and rear camera using the button down here So basically just move that slider up and down and you will be able to switch the cameras from front to the rear camera. So this is the front camera and this is the rear camera. At this side you have settings, okay? You have gimbal settings where you can set all the gimbal parameters and accordingly you can also use this virtual joystick see how you want your gimbal to move its directions that is vertical and horizontal and you can reverse the vertical and horizontal directions from here you can also set the horizontal and vertical follow speed according to your choice you can set it slower or you can set it faster all right you also have few more options here with the vertical and horizontal speed settings. You can gyro calibrate the gimbal or center the gimbal right away. So those were the settings. Then you have your focus. You can focus anywhere by touching the screen of your smartphone. So basically gimbal will let the camera focus there. After that you have pictures and video modes right here which you can basically slide. So now you have in 360 degree panorama mode where the camera will actually take 360 degree panoramic picture then you have photo you have video and time lapse and time lapse motion pictures or time lapse motion video so depending upon what you have selected in the modes you can easily change the settings for that mode from here for example right now i have selected 1080p 30 frames per second for the video and if i am in the pictures or let's say for example now i'm in time lapse so i can see the time lapse settings right here using the camera icon on your right side right here you can also select white balance options and you can set white balance for different modes that you have selected so once again in the video white balance I have left it all auto 
Finally, down here you have grid options, so you can use what kind of grid you want. A grid basically helps to shoot precisely and frame your shots precisely using your phone. If you don't want grid, of course you can always turn the grid off. If you want the camera gimbal to follow an uh, object, for instance, I'm just going to put the rigid uh, box on the chair and then we are going to focus on the box right there okay so you will click this icon right here and then simply draw around a square around the object you want to track and you can see the camera has actually focused on that object and the gimbal will move according to the object movement tracking it properly all the time This is one of the best features that I like about it because if you are vlogging, imagine you can easily track yourself and keep yourself all the time in center using the tracking function without having to worry about you know controlling the gimbal all the time using the joystick. You can now simply track your face and the gimbal will make sure to keep you in the center view all the time. When you touch the screen, you can always change the exposure value very, very quickly using the slider right there. Let me tell you that this gimbal and app also support live features. That means you can go live on various social media platforms based on what you use. However, I'm unable to find those options that make you go live using this gimbal. However, I was able to go live using the YouTube Android app right on my phone and it was simply nice because the gimbal is still stabilizing all the things. The only thing is you cannot use the tracking feature if you're using the YouTube app on your smart device. So let me go ahead and find out how to go live using Android phone because so far I haven't found those options. But hey, anyway, uh, by but hey, anyway, you can always share using the album in the app and you can share all your videos and pictures instantly on different platforms. Going live is still an option that I haven't found on my Android device. I'm not sure if it supports on Android device or not, but I'll find out very soon. And as soon as I find that out, you'll be watching me live on YouTube channel for sure or on Facebook for sure. Okay, so everything has been so nice on this gimbal so far. Now I'm trying uh, panorama mode. So I have put it in panorama mode and I have to hold the gimbal right, press the button. Picture one, picture two, three. And I believe it will stitch the picture all by itself. And I love the tracking feature on that. Once you track your face or track a kid, it will just keep the person in the view. So let me just go and shoot some videos. The cat is gone. Did you scare the cat? Uh oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Right 
Why so many? No, you go get the other one. Okay. Enjoying your time? So much. Is that sweet rice? Yeah. I have plates. Salad and yeah. kebabs. Awesome. You need to keep it over here. I think it's just here. Here? Yeah. What else we have for the food today? Biryani. Mm -hmm. Biryani. No, chicken, chicken fried rice? Oh, okay, no, that's nice. So the children can eat. Hello. Hello. I got two, I got two gimbals. <laughs> Come on. Sounds awesome. Slide. Whoa. Check this out. I have show me me drone 4K camera. Turn into gimbal here. <laughs> Don't fall, okay? Careful. So you have to one by one catch and go. All right? No, you will fall. <laughs> Wait, Baba will help. Oh, you did it! Oh, then. <laughs> Try again. Like a Tarzan, you have to go one by one by one. One. Now hold, hold nicely. Shift weight on one hand and then another hand. Yes. Now wait, wait. Shift weight and uh, left hand and right goes forward. You can do it. No worries. Hadi is coming. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.